Hi, my name is Nick Dalton. I design user interfaces and I do research into human computer interaction, which is trying to understand how they work. Now, clearly, uh, this project was all about trying to understand what was going on inside the machine. And let's just look at the history for a second. We started off just with command line interpreters. Now these allowed us a nice textual description of what's going on, but they were very much, you had to tell them to do what you wanted them to do. They were very command driven. But the problem was they didn't give you a strong feeling, a strong intuition what was happening in your machine. Later on, the uh, Finder came along in the late 80s with the early Macintosh. And this was a huge improvement because it allowed you to directly manipulate files and folders and move things around, which is actually kind of a massive improvement. But you've got to realize this kind of iconic user interface was created in days when having a 800k floppy disk drive was actually quite significant. Later on, this um, uh, column interface was introduced with the next machine. And it, this was actually a major sort of step forward because it was really designed for the kind of 100 megabyte um, hard drives they had in that period. And it did quite a good job of allowing you to kind of manipulate and move through the sort of folder hierarchy quite rapidly. But again, it doesn't give you a strong intuition about what's actually happening. So uh, I created this uh, prototype. Uh, I call this Future Finder. And it's really just a kind of sketch, a way of allowing me to explore what's going on and try and come up with some new ideas. You've got to realize that today we have multi gigabyte hard drives, much bigger than the uh, ones that these were designed for. But we also have really fast graphics. We have GPU renderers on practically every machine. We also have much larger monitors and new styles of touch interaction, touch uh, interfaces on, uh, on various machines. And I wanted to kind of explore these and find an interesting kind of way of resolving these. One of my also hobbies is also um, uh, large scale visualization. So I wanted to apply lots of visualization kind of approaches to the, to the idea of just looking at your, um, your humble hard drive. So here we can see one already. Um, the icons in this system are actually designed to be relative to the size of the document they are actually representing. So here we have the uh, traditional kind of document, draggable document for direct manipulation. But you can see it's much bigger than this one. So it gives you an immediate sense that this is a much larger document than that one. If we just zoom in here, we can actually see up here that it actually tells you how big. This is a 19 meg megabyte document. If we zoom into this one, you see this is only 14 kilobyte. Now you've seen something else here, which is basically I'm using the notion of zooming. This is very much a zooming user interface. I'm notion, using the notion of zooming to actually represent more information about the object. So the idea here is to use zooming as a unified way of interacting with the uh, information. Now, the, uh, the other thing you've probably noticed is the color of the documents. Now, the color of the documents actually represents the age of the documents. So red represents new documents, the documents modified today. Going through the color spectrum of orange for this week, keep on going back through months, years. Over here, we can see um, uh, documents that are blue representing kind of uh, more than a year old and then dark blue for more than two years old and then finally purple is all documents older than three years. You can also see that the, there isn't much in terms of the uh, iconography of the document but there is this one between kind of normal documents and pictures. I haven't had the chance to integrate this hugely but here's another example of using a zooming user interface. If we keep on zooming into it you'll see that the actual image appears uh, on the document. And again, you can keep zooming in and zooming out on that document. If we zoom out a bit, going back to the age, you notice that obviously all these icons are actually now held inside this finder folder. And the color dot here just says, what's the most recent doc document modified in this folder? And then that's passed up to its parent and so on. So Again, if you're zoomed out, you can actually see what's going on. Now, this kind of zooming user interface is actually quite familiar if you've ever used anything like Google, Do uh, Google Maps. And so I think this is actually now a kind of very potentially familiar operation. But what we're doing here is we're doing a lot of tricks to allow us to actually render all the information on the hard drive in real time. Um, a couple of these tricks are, uh, for example, you might have noticed already, I'm actually changing the shape slightly as we zoom out, and also the text is actually flickering. Um, 
uh, to allow it to be rendered in, uh, in real time. Now, if you do want to know what a document is, you can actually just, if you look at up here at the title bar, you actually see the name of the document you're actually pointing at. There we go. And uh, so on. So you don't actually have to zoom in all the way if you actually want to look at something. We can zoom out a bit more. And again, because we have hierarchy, containment, documents within documents within documents, we can actually see what's kind of going on. We get an overview and a kind of individual view simultaneously. We can see big folders and little folders, and in, indeed even just individual documents. But there's something interesting over here as part of the, this interface. Now here you'll see my trash folder. Now, I like having a big trash folder. I must admit, it's one of my uh, weaknesses. I like just having all these documents around and not deleting them until I actually really need to. But you notice it's got this dot around it, and that means it's an invisible file. If we go over here, we can see uh, a lot of the Unix created um, kind of more preference folders with their uh, have been made invisible. So again, you actually get to see what's going on inside your machine. And uh, we can just notice over here that we've actually got a um, a red document and this is the Dropbox folder has actually just modified that which again is is kind of a, an interesting kind of observation to make. Now we're zooming out and we can see we have the photo libraries and uh, documents but if we keep on going we've uh, discovered that in fact the web page preview folder in the library folder is actually one of the largest folders on my hard drive. Now I, I I wasn't expecting this as actually quite an interesting kind of discovery and I did quite like the idea of uh, the quote that says a, a discovery is an accident meeting a prepared mind and I quite like the idea of creating software which kind of creates accidents in kind of interesting and provocative ways. Um, overall you can actually see what's going on inside the machine and you can see that you can quite smoothly and quickly zoom in and zoom out to what's going on. Um, you can also sort of tell when there's um, uh, uh, a varieties of documents by their ages actually kind of again creates this kind of quite illuminating pattern inside the system gives you an idea a feel for what's actually kind of happening so um, uh, the reason I'm creating this user interface is really much as a kind of way of reaching out and kind of querying what's going on and I'd really like your input into this so if you actually have any kind of comments positive or negative I'd love to hear about them does this inspire anything into you do you make do you think this should do something that would be quite particularly interesting or stimulating I'd quite like to, to find out what you think um, so feel free to leave a comment um, and thank you very much for watching and I'll just leave you with that uh, uh, Eric Cantona quote which is, it is enjoyable to make things visible which were invisible. Thanks very much.